Hello there! This video will explain how to use the dual power supply. We use this power supply whenever we require a negative voltage or whenever we need a second DC voltage source in our circuit. This supply has one toggle switch, three binding posts, and two potentiometers. After plugging in the supply voltage to the wall outlet, the toggle switch will turn the supply on and off. A status LED lights up when the switch is on. Be sure that the supply is placed on top of the plastic insulating base to keep the solder joints from shorting out. The binding posts connect to different output voltages. The black binding post is a common lead, the red binding post is a positive voltage, and the green binding post is a negative voltage. You can think of the dual supply as consisting of essentially two voltage supplies. Each supply can source plus or minus 15 volts, and each is adjusted using its potentiometer. In this manner, we can use the dual power supply in two different ways. One way is as a truly dual positive and negative source. The other way is as a single positive voltage source. We will use the supply as a dual source when providing power to op amp chips. Op amps generally require a positive source and a negative source, especially when used with AC signals that require the output to swing between positive and negative voltage values. In this case, the red binding post is used as the positive source, the green binding post is used as the negative source, and the black lead is connected to a common ground in your circuit. The supply can alternatively be used as a single positive voltage source in cases where two different DC supplies are required. If the required source voltage is less than 15 volts, then the red and black binding posts can be used to source that voltage. The black binding post will need to be connected to a common ground in your circuit. If the required voltage is between 15 and 30 volts, the red and green binding posts can be used instead. The green binding post will need to be connected to a common ground, and the black binding post will be disconnected from the circuit. When setting up the dual power supply, I recommend that you connect the binding posts that you'll be using to a voltmeter to confirm the output voltage or voltages. Dial the potentiometer knob until you get the desired result. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the dual power supply. Until next time, stay well.